Department spokesperson under the former president, Morgan Ortega, joins us on the couch. Uh, Morgan, you, you, you were just telling us before you through the uh, both impeachments, you saw all the controversy up close and personal. Where does this rank? The president seemed really stoic yesterday. I thought his speech was crisp but direct. I agree. I, you know, having worked for him for those final two years of the administration, um, we went through a lot, including two impeachments, um, and had to brief, you know, the media at the State Department the whole time. So I know what he's made of. I know what he's capable of going about the United States ability to talk about the rule of law and to talk about the democracy promotion overseas. Right. And you even saw some foreign leaders, like in El Salvador yesterday, criticize us on that very point. Sure. Uh, Donald Trump said last night, there is no case there. There is a case, and it's a misdemeanor case, and a Apparently they've got the evidence. There's just no felony case, and that's where the legal peril is. And what will be really interesting, you've already had some people announce that they're challenging him for the Republican nomination. You have other people considering. Talking the last few days about, he's our colleagues, it's our sister um, yeah. newspaper, the Wall Street Journal, Evan Gerskovich. He has been jailed in Russia for espionage charges. That's at least what the Russian, you worked at the State Department getting him home. Um, it's going to be really tough, and it's going to be very hard. We still have Paul Whelan there. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, and the administration, the Biden administration has held that back. Number two, um, in the Trump administration, we imposed uh, sanctions on Iranian diplomats that when they came here to the United States, essentially we said you could go to the UN and you could go home. Why don't we do that to these Russian diplomats Absolutely. here in the US? You get to go to the embassy, you get to go to work, and you get to go home. There are real actions and things we can do to show we're serious, but this is why gotcha. the Brittany Griner invest, uh, negotiation was dangerous. And it was imbalanced, obviously. Yeah. Morgan, thank you very much for dropping by. Thank, thank you.